Hello filmmakers, it's Kerry with Filmmaker Central. And to be honest, maybe I've been a little lazy uh, because I'm definitely late to the game on this one. But there's a tool inside of DaVinci Resolve that can make your color grading completely different and a huge time saver. And that's Color Space Transform. Now, if you've heard of this and you've watched other videos, well, then you don't need this one <laughs> because I'm just gonna repeat the same thing other people have. But if you're new to this, this is awesome. <laughs> and it's just hard to describe um, why this is good. But let's take, I'm, I'm gonna give you a quick look, then we'll do a little deeper dive and we'll do some comparisons. Okay, here is some Mavic 3 D-Log footage. Pretty simple. Normally we would go up and we would grab, you know, one of our favorite LUTs and, you know, maybe try and open it up a little bit, bring the shadows down, maybe a little color boost, you know, something like that to get a good image. Now there's nothing inherently wrong with that because that's the way it's been done for a long, long time. But let me show you color space transform. We'll go to another clip here and I've got the color space transform over here. I'm just gonna drop it in here. Input color space, well, this is DGI, so it's DGI D gamut. My input gamma is going to be DGI D log, bam, done. <laughs> okay, and I like it better already. There's more detail in the clouds. The color of blue on my Jeep never quite looks right with a LUT, and it looks perfect with the color space transform. Now, of course, I can still do the same things. I can then go through and I can open this up a little bit, maybe bring that the lows down a little bit. I can bump the color boost a little bit, add mid-tone. I can do all the other color grading, but I don't need that initial LUT to do it. Okay, but why use one versus the other? Well, LUTs are destructive. When you throw a LUT on something, it's saying, change this color to this color. And if it's not right and it's not perfect, then there's you're, you're kind of hosed trying to get that back. And that's why for the Mavic 3, I've got probably six or seven different LUTs and I try one, I try another one. Oh, the lighting conditions were a little different here. So that LUT doesn't work. It, yeah, it, it's tedious work sometimes to go through and try and match everything. Then on top of that, you have camera matching, right? You, you're trying to match different cameras and make sure that they all turn out looking the same. Well, color space transform pretty much ensures that because not only can we change the input color space, we can do the output color space and say, well, this is, I want this to look like Ari Alexa footage. Okay, fine. You know, and now everything you have has a common baseline. Well, for our other channel, Trail Traveler, we only use DJI cameras. Now, the Mavic 3 shoots D-Log. All the other ones shoot D cine like. Okay, all I do is come in here and select the D gamut. I don't change anything on the, the gamma because there isn't something for cine like, and they match. <laughs> it's really wild that I can get everything to match so smoothly now. All right, let's do, I'm gonna show you a little side by side here. We have the let version on the left and the color space transform version on the right. And again, there's a little bit more detail in the clouds. There's a little more color 
and how it actually looked. The ground has a little bit more color to it. The, the finer details just seem to pop a little bit better. It really, really makes a nice difference. And for something that is so easy to change in your workflow, to be such a big game changer is pretty wild because you can lay out your timeline, do a color space transform on the first one, paste that to your entire timeline, assuming it's all the same camera, right? Paste it to your entire timeline and you're good to go. Now, maybe that's not your final, right? But it's a good baseline for everything. You don't need to, you know, try and pick which LUT works best in which condition. You're just done. You're ready to f edit. You're ready to do final touch up. You're ready to, you know, massage things and make them look right. Color space transform is a game changer. And I think once you get into using it, you'll really see the power there. And I, like I said, I'm late to the game. I, I just didn't think it would be something that I would use on a consistent basis. I, you know, because of Cinelike versus D-Log and all. And I really started playing with it yesterday. Yeah, I'm sold. It's the only way I'm going to go now because in a big edit we were working on, it made a massive time difference in trying to get everything to look the same. So there you have it, Color Space Transform in Resolve. It started with 18.1. It's available in the free and studio version, so there's no reason not to use it. Hopefully this helped and is going to improve your workflow. Thanks for watching. This has been Kerry with Filmmaker Central. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.